Hi, I'm Ted. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to get the product of columns in Excel. Uh, this is something that, that's, that's fairly common in, in, in different applications. And I have a spreadsheet set up uh, with just some, some random numbers I, I entered in. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, use a formula that allows us to take the sum of the products of each of the pairs of numbers all the way uh, through the, through the, uh, the, the, all the way down the list of numbers. Um, the, the formula that you use to do this is, um, is just like I have on the page here. It's called sum product. And to, to get to that formula, you just type an equal sign and type S-U-M-P-R-O-D-U-C-T, which is sum product. And what it's looking for, it's looking for the, the sum of the, of the products of the numbers of column A. So I'll select all the, the range in column A, and then I'll type a comma. And then I'll type all the, uh, you know, click on all the entries in column B that I want to, to use. And then I'll type a close parenthesis and hit enter. And there's the, there's the result. So I could have gone in and I could have made a formula that said equals A2 times B2 plus A3 times B3 plus A4 times B4. And I would have been here much longer than you would want uh, me to be here. Uh, entering in a column. With this formula you can do that same thing very quickly and if you had a column of 100 numbers it really is the only way to do it. So I hope this has been helpful. I'm Ted and today I showed you how to do the sum of products in Excel. Thank you for watching.